Today I'll be talking about SharePoint site templates and show you how to best use them. SharePoint site templates are scenario based templates that show what's possible in SharePoint. Let's say that you're managing a project with upcoming deadlines or you need to create an onboarding site for new hires. If you don't know where to start, site templates makes it easier for you to build your site by giving that starting point and source of inspiration. These templates leverage existing capabilities that you already know and love, including pages, lists, libraries, navigation, and branding. For our initial release, we'll have nine different templates for you to choose from. For communication sites, we have crisis management, department, leadership connection, learning central, and new employee onboarding. For team sites, we have event planning, project management, training and courses, and training and development team. With that, let's hop into a quick demo. Here I am on Alpha Onboarding, which is a brand new site that I've created. I see upon my first visit to the site, a dialog indicating how I can apply a template to my site. I'll go ahead and click on Browse Templates at the bottom. Now we can see that it's loaded our site template gallery, and there are various different templates that we can choose to apply. I'll go with New Employee Onboarding, and this takes me to a preview page. On this preview page, you'll see a description of how the template can be used, various site capabilities that go along with it, and an image so you can preview what the home page will look like. I'll click on Use Template, and this takes us to a progress bar that will advance as it continues to apply the template to the site. We've now applied the template to our site, and you can see that the home page has been updated as well as the next step panel has opened up. This is a feature that has previously existed for team sites, but we are also bringing it to communication sites with the release of site templates. In the next steps panel, you'll see various suggestions for actions that you can take on the site to build it out and make it your own, whether it's customizing your site, uploading files, hosting news, or sharing it with others. I'll briefly walk through the home page of this onboarding site. As you can see, it's added various web parts that allow you to populate your own content and give you an idea of where to get started. So here we have a combination of a text and an image web part. As I scroll down, we can see an example of a hero web part, more text web parts and quick links. You can use a news post and have any of those news posts get populated into this news web part, and then a variety of images and text. Now each of our templates come with additional pages as well. So if you take a look at getting started, for example, we have some more detailed pages and these are in different layouts so you can pick and choose and see what works best for your particular site. For this one, we've also added a list that's built on the site. This one in particular is an employee onboarding checklist. And for some of our templates, you'll also notice that there are page templates that are created as well. So for this one, we have a new hire introduction. This gives guidance on how you can use that page template. Now, if you want to learn all the ins and outs of each of your templates, we recommend going to our support articles. Here we have information about how to apply and customize your SharePoint site template. If you take a look here, we talk through the process of applying a template when you create a new site, if you're applying it to an existing site, and how to customize your actual templates. Now, for example, we were looking at the new employee onboarding one. And you can see here that it goes into more in-depth description of how to use it, the various site features, and ways that you can add the template, customize the site, and really maintain its longevity. Let's hop back over to our deck. And just to recap, there are two different entry points to access the template gallery. The one that we looked at, option one, was through the dialog upon visiting a new site for the first time. You can also reach it at any time through site settings under apply a site template. This is a preview of the different gallery options that we have. That's going to be under the From Microsoft tab. And upon clicking on one of those thumbnails, you'll be taken to the preview page. After reviewing all of the information here, if we click on the Use Template button, it will take us to a progress screen where the template is applied in a matter of seconds. And then once the template's applied, you can start building out your site with guidance from the next steps tips. Of course, if you ever need to understand a little bit more about a certain template, 
we recommend looking at our support articles to learn even more. You can visit that at aka.ms slash SP site templates. We look forward to hearing how you use this new feature. Thank you.